Hi Taurus! Thanks for showing up to watch this reading. It's for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And we will cover the areas of, in general, what does your month of March look like? You know, any challenges you'll face, the vibes you're putting out, how are you feeling? We're going to look at your finances. We're going to look at your love life, whether you're single or coupled. And then we're going to look at your personal development or your emotions. And then we're going to pull you a crystal of the month. So, let's get started Taurus! Taurus, what's up? So let's see in general what the month looks like for you. And they're saying the general theme is things that are new and exciting, creative endeavors, things like that, but not related to your workplace. So this could be hobbies. This could be a new passion that you have for a person, but it's a new passion in general. So this is exciting. And they're saying that um, this is something that you shouldn't give up on, okay? And it's probably something related to your past, maybe even going all the way back to your childhood. So it does sound like it could be something crafty, potentially, anything like that. Now, why is this important for you? They're saying because it helps you to get over the dramas and things like that could happen during your Mercury retrograde period. It will help you to de-stress. So being creative is very important. When you're not feeling the love for every single thing in your life, it's hard to... Um, really express gratitude and be positive, right? Um, so this will really help you to express gratitude, to be a more positive person who's vibrating at a higher level in order to attract the things that you actually desire and that you actually want for your life, okay? Now, what kind of vibes are you putting out in general in the month of March? And they're saying you're just like kind of putting out this energy like, well... I don't really know what I want. I don't know where things are going. I'm a little frustrated, but I'm not completely deflated. And so they're saying always choose humor as like the lighter energy. It's going to raise your vibration. So this month in general, if you start to feel kind of down and, you know, like working on this project that you're excited about didn't help you necessarily, it might have helped you to relax, but it didn't help you to feel really positive and wonderful, watch a comedy. Laugh as much as possible. And it's not... And they're not saying like this whole month is going to be doom and gloom or anything like that, but they just are like, this is a really good opportunity for you to sort of raise your vibration. And what they're saying is you're not being silent enough and paying attention to kind of just like observing the details and things around you, which is why getting really focused on a specific passion or endeavor um, is going to be really important for you because as you're doing that like light energy like um, love energy when you get in the zone that's actually your angels kind of healing you and helping you that's why art therapy works that's why horse therapy works that's why all that shit works okay because you get into this positive zone where they can kind of like let that light in you're more vulnerable and open to the healing powers of the universe or angels or God or Allah or whatever you believe okay so um, observe like the feelings that you're having as opposed to trying to work through them, sort them, control them. Make sense? Now, looking specifically at your finance, Taurus, in the month of March, what's going on? And they're saying um, this might be one area that kind of needs healing, okay? Um, you're trying to see the light side of things, the better side of things, like, okay, well, maybe I don't have enough money to, do, to go on spring break. <laughs> but I do have enough to pay my bills. So that's good. And so you're trying to use both your intellect and your spirituality to find the right answer in order to improve your situation. And you totally can do that, but it will be dependent upon that kind of energy I was telling you about, or really following your passions or your dreams, your creative endeavors, whatever it is you're excited about. They say unknown blessings are coming for you. There are things that you can't see that will come to you as a result of following that guidance. Now, that could be maybe you are making pottery. Okay, maybe you're making pottery and all of a sudden somebody sees it and then they post it on Instagram and before you know it, you have this new business where you're making handmade pottery and you sell each, you know, coffee cup for $500 a pop. Who knows? You couldn't know because it's in the future <laughs> and you're not supposed to know. And that's the funny thing is, you know, like as a tarot reader, people ask a lot about future things. 
some things I can tell you, and sometimes because I'm channeling your angels, okay? So some, but sometimes I can't, I can't tell you. Sometimes your angels will say, like somebody will ask a question, when will I meet my soulmate? I get that one a lot. Sometimes they're very specific. Um, sometimes it's April 4th, uh, 2019. And sometimes it's like, well, that depends on you. If you don't let go of your past boyfriend, if you keep talking to him, you're never going to meet this guy. So your choice. <laughs> so I mean, uh, so it's that kind of an energy. It's dependent upon your choices. But there are unknown, there are blessings that you're not able to see or perceive as of yet on your own that will come as a result of doing this healing. And so they're saying, um, in this period of like indecision and trying to work out the difference between instinct and logic in regards to your finances and how to solve problems, they're saying, I'm going to try to lean harder into my intuition as opposed to my logic, um, because that's why it's hard for me to make decisions and choices at this time. Okay. And so going into that creative flow is going to really, really help you to get in touch with your spiritual side. And then to, you'll just like get these ideas like, boop, all of a sudden, oh, there's the answer. This is called clear cognizance. Everybody experiences it a little bit different. It could be like a sign. It could be a number message. It could be an animal message. Um, for me, it's more like a thought that I can tell isn't my own. It like appears almost like an image or words above my right eyebrow. And I know other people get it that way too, but I'm just saying everybody's going to be a little bit different as to how you get your messages. So in regards to your love life. What's up, single Taurus? They're saying keep doing what you're doing. They're saying it doesn't feel like you're on the right track, but keep doing what you're doing. They're like, for those of you who are definitely not on the right track, it's just because you haven't moved on emotionally from somebody who sucks. You might be holding on to an ex. So I would watch the Chords of Attachment video that's in the description box below. That will really help you. They're saying um, some of you are just not pouring love into this idea of going out to find somebody new. And that is why there is a big old stop sign or a big old brick wall in front of you. But if you're one of those Tauruses who are actually out there and looking, what can we expect in the month of March? And they're saying that you will only be attracting people who are emotionally balanced and emotionally mature. So this is a good month. They say pay attention to the details of what people say and what they do because that's a very good indicator for you um, this month as everybody is more intuitive with Pisces and everything that um, it, you're just going to kind of know. You're going to have a feeling about people, who they really are. Right? So the little things that they do over time, imagine those in expanded capacity. If they're constantly being kind to others, like then you know this is gonna be a very expansively like kind and caring partner for you. If they are um, putting people down or you know, like somebody walks by and they say, Oh, that person, um, what an ugly outfit, or you know, like they're maybe too fat to be wearing that or something like that. Then you can understand that all of these things will be amplified when you're in a relationship. So if they're critical of other people that they don't even know, imagine how critical they're going to be of you. So pay attention to the details of the people that you're meeting. And then um, whatever you're noticing about that, multiply that by 10 and ask yourself, is that a good person that I want to be with? But this is in the month of March, okay? Now, what are your challenges? And they're saying some people are going to be a little bit dishonest and there's nothing you can do about that. You can't change them. You can ask them to be more honest with you, but ultimately it's their, going to be their decision. If they're a dishonest person, then remember that and multiply it by 10. That's not the kind of relationship you want to be in, okay? So they're saying this is a good time of good fortune and abundance for you in regards to relationships if you are open to finding a relationship for single taurus this month okay you can meet people who are really good for you but you have to be open to receiving good things in your life and so um you know if you are constantly attracting people who are not good for you you need to ask yourself why and think about what is it that deep inside my subconscious that I believe I deserve? Because if I believe that I deserve somebody who is really, really wonderful, then that's what I'm going to be attracting, right? Okay. For those of you who are coupled Tauruses, what's up? They're saying in general, the relationship seems like hard work sometimes, but ultimately it's happy. What are the challenges you'll be facing with your partner in the month of March? They say that... You're not always committed to showing um, your partner love in every situation. 
So that's something to work on. What kind of vibe are you putting out with them? And they're saying um, that maybe you're not always wanting to receive love when you're paying attention to the details of things, when you're being a little bit nitpicky and then they try to maybe shift course or show you love in one way, you're like, no, I don't want it because you just yelled at them. So see the love in all things. That's going to benefit your relationship enormously in the month of March. Um, what is some way that you can do this, like kind of to apply the concept? And they're saying provide leadership. The behaviors that you want your partner to show you, you do those first, okay? You can't just like sit here and nag somebody like, well, I need you to be pay more attention to me. I need you to check in with me more during the day and then go completely off the grid. You show them by your behaviors how you expect for them to behave with you, how you show them in like the way that you treat them, how you want to be treated. Does that make sense? It seems like very obvious like very first grade advice, like the golden rule and stuff like that. But it's, it's not always something we apply in our relationships because we get comfortable. And then we have these ideas of how we want the relationship to be. And then we're like constantly disappointed because the other person can't read our mind. And so this is how you're going to fix that. It's less about talking about it. And it's more about showing them by example. Okay. So in regards to your emotional state or your personal development and growth for the month of March, what's going on? They're like, some of you are in this hopeless energy and that needs to shift and change. They say that um, your emotional state, whether you want to believe it or not, is entirely your choice. And I know that sounds stupid, right? Choose to be happy. Okay, well, how the fuck do I do that, right? But here, let's, let's find out how. <laughs> They're like, seeing both sides of the situation, okay? Like looking at the motivation of why people do what they do. That's one way. Another way, um, using your intuitive side, again, it's a blending of your intuition and your brain this month to kind of solve problems and get the answer. So to me, what that is saying is for those of you who are choosing not to be happy, that it's for various different reasons. And so that would be better, um, that would be better articulated with a private reading, because for some of you, it's going to be in regards to um, relationship and boundary issues. For some of you, it's self-esteem. For some of you, it, it's just going to be different for everybody is basically what that is saying, okay? Now, I want to talk about your crystal of the month. Now, you chose, um, for you guys, it was topaz that was selected. And topaz comes in different colors. But for this specific one, it's going to give you um, encouragement to kind of take control and use your personal power to the ultimate, like, best uh, best effect. Okay. It raises your vibration and helps connect you to divine energy, which we need this month. Okay. This month it's telling you lean on your intuition, become more spiritual, trust your angels, trust that guidance. This will very much help you. It's going to give you more um, physical energy in general to achieve things. It's going to purify your aura, clear out any chakra blockages, balance those out. It gets rid of old energies. It um, helps you to attract wealth, joy, happiness. It um, also, if you just like kind of set it in the center of your house, it can really kind of radiate out a more positive energy for everybody that walks into the home. So this actually helps you, um, it'll help speed up your metabolism. There's so many benefits of this. And so um, if you purchase that through my website, I only have one Topaz for now, um, then you'll get a list of all the things that it does for you, the angels associated it to it, uh, information on how to cleanse it, how to clear it, although it's already going to come cleansed and cleared and ready for use. And then a series of six or so videos that only Patreon subscribers have access to that tells you all these different ways that you can utilize your crystal so that you can figure out the best way for you to personally use it to its maximum potential in order to make your life better. So that's your reading and I will see you soon for love readings. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video, 
uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!